Good day learners! In today's lesson, we will discuss inferring the star's characteristics based on the sun's characteristics. Are you ready? Let us start. Let us first discuss what stars and the sun are. Stars are giant, luminous spheres of plasma. It consists mostly hydrogen and some helium. It produces energy by nuclear fusion. On the other hand, sun is a star. It is the largest object in the solar system. Now, let's take a look at the characteristics of the stars and infer it based on the characteristics of the sun. Three of the characteristics of the stars are color and temperature, size, and brightness. Let's discuss first the color and the temperature. Color and temperature. The color of the stars ranges from red, then yellow, to blue. Red stars are the coolest while the bluish white or the white stars are the hottest. Surface temperature of stars are expressed in Kelvin. The sun is a yellow star. Its surface temperature is 5,778 Kelvin. In the future, when it runs out of usable hydrogen fuel in the core, it will become a red giant. From red, it will shrink to become a white dwarf star. Another characteristic of the star is the size. It is expressed in radius. Stars are classified as dwarf, giant, or supergiant. The Sun is a medium-sized or yellow dwarf star about 695,500 km radius. There are so many larger stars than the Sun. The red giant Betelgeuse is 1,000 times larger. Canis Major, the largest star, is 2,000 times larger than the Sun. The size of the Sun is changing and decreasing through time. The last characteristic that we will discuss is brightness. Brightness depends on both of its size and its temperature. It also depends on both its distance and how bright the star actually is. Apparent magnitude is the brightness as seen from the Earth. Absolute magnitude is the brightness at a standard distance. The Sun is the brightest star based on apparent magnitude. Here's the summary of the lesson about inferring the characteristics of stars based on the characteristics of the sun, color, and temperature, range from red, coolest, to blue to white, hottest, sun is yellow and it is 5778 Kelvin, size, range from dwarf to giant to supergiant, sun is dwarf in 695,500 km radius, and brightness, apparent magnitude, seen from Earth, sun the brightest star based on apparent brightness, Absolute magnitude, standard distance, sun is 26.74 magnitude. There will be an evaluation of your understanding of the lesson. Are you ready? Let's start. Modify true or false, identify which among the given statements are true and or false. 1. The sun is a star. 2. The Sun can produce energy by nuclear fusion. A. Statement 1 is true. Statement 2 is false. B. Statement 1 is false. Statement 2 is true. C. Both statements 1 and 2 are true. D. Both statements 1 and 2 are false. The correct answer is C. Both statements 1 and 2 are true. Modified true or false, identify which among the given statements are true and or false. 1. The size of the sun does not change with time. 2. The sun is the dimmest star based on apparent magnitude. A. Statement 1 is true. Statement 2 is false. B. Statement 1 is false. Statement 2 is true. C. Both statements 1 and 2 are true. D. Both statements 1 and 2 are false. The correct answer is D. 
both statements 1 and 2 are false. Matching type, arrange the following conventional colors of stars from coolest to hottest, A yellow, B blue, C white, D red. Here are the correct answers. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. What is the current classification of the sun? A red dwarf, B yellow dwarf, C giant, D super giant. The correct answer is B, yellow dwarf. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following stars is slash are bigger than the sun? A. Betelgeuse. B. Canis Majoris. C. Both A and B are bigger than the sun. D. Neither A nor B are bigger than the sun. The correct answer is C. Both Betelgeuse and Canis Majoris are bigger than the Sun. How many correct answers did you get? If you got all correct answers you are doing great. If you got some incorrect answer, don't worry, you can rewatch this video to review in which question did you get wrong. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions for future videos. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.